Hey everyone, it is Thursday, September 29th. The time is 3.20 p.m. and the temperature right now is around 15 degrees Celsius. And I'm here right next to the intersection of Young and Bloor. And there is a look to the east along Bloor Street East. And that's a look south down Young Street. And there is one Bloor West starting to rise. That will soon be the tallest building in the city, or at least one of the two tallest. And I just finished recording a live stream that started at Young and St. Clair, and I headed west along St. Clair, and I made my way south down the Bloor Street, and then I came over to the intersection of Young and Bloor here. So now I will complete that walk in terms of making a full circle as I'm going to head north from here up Young Street up to the intersection of Young and St. Clair. And you can enter into Bloor Young Subway Station right there as well as an underground shopping complex. So this is north up the east side of Young Street. And this subway entrance here will take you down to the Line 2 platform. But you can connect to the Line 1 platform from there. And given that I am north of Bloor Street, I am no longer in downtown. I wouldn't really classify this as midtown. I don't think that really starts till you get probably at least north of Summer Hill. There's the Toronto Reference Library. And that's a popular spot to find students studying. And to the left of here is the Yorkville neighborhood. And that would be the Four Seasons Hotel in the center of the shot there. And it's pretty nice weather today, at least when the sun's out. You'll see some people wearing shorts and a t-shirt, and others wearing coats. That's often the case in the seasons of spring and fall in Toronto. So I don't think this one should take too long. I started up Strava just before I started recording. And we're at 0.45 kilometers so far. There's the Masonic Temple. That was where I saw my first ever concert. It was the Foo Fighters way back in 96. And a few months later, I went back and saw the Gin Blossoms. And Church Street terminates here, and it kind of goes southeast. And then at Bloor Street, it goes straight south all the way to just south of Front Street. Actually, just south of the Esplanade. And at one point, 
when MTV came to Canada and challenged much music. I think they turned the Masonic Temple into their studio. And later, I think it hosted the Mike Bullard show. There's a Ninja Instapot, or I guess that would be an Instapot knockoff at Canadian Tire and all their Keurigs. I probably drink more than my fair share of Keurigs. I think I average about two a day. Hey, we have a northbound subway sighting. I was going to just take the subway back. I was just a few minutes out of my two hour transfer window. So rather than pay another fare, I decided to just pull out this camera and record this one. I'm still gonna end up paying another fare when I get to St. Clair. Expedia Cruises. What do you do? Go in there, tell them you'd like to take a cruise, and they go to expedia.ca and find it for you. Take a bike out for an entire day for seven bucks. Although, quite stupidly, every 30 minutes you have to redock it. So, if you only take it out for 30 minute bursts, realistically, you're probably looking at closer to 25 minutes because you don't really want to cut it close. And what happens if you take it? to a docking station that's full. If you know the answer to that, let me know down in the comments. And it looks like the 320 blue light bus is making a few diversions. One southbound by the lake and the other up in North York. Just in on the right here is Rosedale subway station. And just beyond that is the rather affluent Rosedale neighborhood. And that would be Ramsden Park, just on the west side of the street.
is a pretty awesome blue sky. I don't know if the camera is doing it any justice. And it's also a mostly uphill climb from here up to Young and St. Clair. stopping to take a view to the south <laughs> right at the same time as that delivery guy stopped on his e-bike in the bike lane. Friendly wave from that driver. I kind of held up to let him through. Did you know about our Pilates space? Beautiful, bright space. Two doors north of here. the sun directly to the west of here. I'm clearly on the brighter side of the street. Looks nice and shaded over on the west side. There's some people out on the patio at Karen's. C A R E N S. So Young Street used to be two lanes of traffic. It's been reduced. But we gained a protected bike lane out of it. I'm sure some would disagree, but I think that's a trade-off that was well worth it. building there is being incorporated into a new condo and that used to be a Staples business depot. Or I guess just Staples it's called now. And they've relocated up north to the young Eglinton area. And this place is one of the more popular rooftop patios in the city. That is Taroni. And this is the old North Toronto train station, which is now a Summer Hill liquor store, the Summer Hill LCBO. <laughs> which sports this neat water feature. And when it fills up, it tips over. 
I think it's just about there. And while it's doing that, we are at 1.46 kilometers walks. Come on, do it. There we go, it looks like it's ready to tip. Is that worth it? <laughs> is asking them, I think, for a change. They have a craft beer section in this part of the LCBO. And there's a big beer fridge in another area just to the north of there. Kind of a look into the beer fridge. All right, maybe cross over to the shaded side. Here at Shaftesbury, and this is where you'll find the Summer Hill subway station just in there on the right. A pretty neat shot south. I think I've featured a view similar to this on a number of thumbnails in the past. And this is probably the steepest part of the uphill climb. It's not uncommon to see defeated cyclists walking their bike up the sidewalk on that side of the street. Thank you. 
Run, run, run. And this is Woodlawn. Back south. And we're at 1.97 kilometers walk so far. And that is the head office of Cineplex Entertainment. All the major movie theaters, at least in this region, they're kind of the last one standing. They merged with famous players, their big Canadian rival. And AMC has left town. There's still some smaller theater outlets or outfits. TV wall mounting. Let's hope they don't mount their TVs too high. It's got to be one of my favorite subreddits on Reddit. I think it's just TV too high, all one word. She was taking a picture of that awesome view to the south of here. fairly close to here in St. Clair. And that is an empty bus. That's the 97. <laughs> That'd actually be my quickest way home probably if I could just jump on that somehow. I like you over Cemetery just off to the side there. I'm keeping pace with the bus so far. And there is the bus stop. Right at the southeast corner of the intersection. If it doesn't make this next light cycle, I might be able to make that.
Let's see what happens here. I think it's going to clear the intersection. Oh, yeah, it's easily going to clear it. Thank you. So this is Young and St. Clair. sort of built up retail area ends just a few blocks to the north of here. Then it resumes again so once you get to Young and Davisville. So I'm going to enter the St. Clair's Center here and head down to the subway platform. I also could have entered here from St. Clair Avenue on either side of the street, actually. Loblaw Supermarket. I don't come here very often, and this is my second time in this little food court area today. Catching a northbound train. So I hope you enjoyed this one walking north up Young Street from Young and Bloor. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below. And if you wish to support the channel, there's links to my Patreon and YouTube channel membership. Please stand clear of the doors. As we roll out of the station. Next station. All right, thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next one.